All right, guys, this week I'm gonna try and do a topic that's I feel a little bit difficult for me, so bear with me. I'm gonna try not to butcher this one. Um, I am gonna share my personal experience with executive functioning as an autistic person uh, because it is, many autistic people um, struggle with executive functioning or have executive functioning differences. Um, for me, one thing that looks like is uh, a frustrating example is my short, my long-term memory is obnoxiously long, like forever. Once something's in my head, it doesn't ever go away. I can, as clear as day, close my eyes and go back to a 360 video memory. I just did it right there, sorry. Of being like one and a half years old or less. Uh, and I have plenty of memories of being under two years old. But, you know, working memory, and this is the part of executive functioning I have difficulty, is keeping all of the little short-term facts in my head. Uh, when I was a young person, this would bite me in the butt before I had learned to equip myself with tools. Uh, and I would often forget my homework and forget my assignments at school, forget to bring things to school, misplace things, uh, forget to take a key with me. Uh, when I need to get back into the house, misplace my key, lose my key, lose my glasses, lose my things. Um, and as an adult, this looks like um, I will maybe put my phone somewhere and I'll put it in a safe place. And then I have no idea where I put it because it's not somewhere out where I can look around and easily see it. It's misplaced now because it's not the normal place. It's a safe place or a new place. I just, and this happens constantly, like I just don't know where I put my things. It's frustrating. Uh, yeah, David and I have a joke. I'm like, it's in the safe place, which means well, I have no idea where I put it. I put it somewhere safe, but it's out of sight and unfortunately also out of mind. Um, but now as an adult, uh, executive functioning issues for me also looks like being hyper organized. <laughs> and this just sounds totally ridiculous. Um, but you know, I learned at a young age that I could use a visual schedule. Um, and I'm not going to show you all this, but I have, you know, this notebook and it has pages that are like a month view and it has pages that are week view. And I have notifications and a calendar on my calendar, computer, and phone as well. And I instantly know now because I can't trust myself and I don't, I know I can't trust myself. Instantly, instantly, instantly put anything I need to remember in a notepad, whether it's a digital notepad or a handwritten notepad. If it has a time specific deadline or an appointment or something like that, where I need to have it done by a certain date or on a certain date or remember something that is a certain date, I'll put it on a calendar, digital calendar, handwritten calendar. Um, I actually keep my calendar digital and handwritten um, because that helps me to remember. I've done either or in the past and right now it's just helping me stay super organized uh, doing it that way. Um, at work, I have task lists and then I have a task list for personal, although I will admit that I am better at looking at my work task list than my personal task list. It's easier for me to like not look at my personal tasks and than it is because I know I have to do my work tasks. I, ah, it's frustrating. Um, so like I really, really depend on my calendar and my schedule to get me where I need to be and to keep track of things. Um, because I just, I know that information isn't going to stay here. Another thing, you know, that way that, what that looks like for me as an adult is, you know, in the working world, when I first entered the workforce, I would get myself in trouble because, you know, my, my boss or my manager would give me a long string of directions <laughs> and I would maybe, you know, be able to, without a notepad, you know, processing it, you know, that working memory thing, I would be able to maybe, you know, kind of get a few of the directions, but without having like something to take notes and get it all down, especially if the directions are more complex, I was unable to easily hold that information in my head. And sometimes I would miss a step and it would get me in trouble. Um, but now, you know, I know I'm very upfront when I work with people, uh, like, you know, for, for example, my boss knows like 
you know, if she's going to call me, I want to have my computer in front of me because a lot of the details that most people keep in their heads, I just don't keep on my head. I'm dependent on technology or my books or my task list to keep that organized for me because without these tools, like it's just, it's just all a mess. Um, so yeah, my ability to uh, not organize in my head has really made me a great at organizing on paper. I am, I feel like I'm very skilled at being organized now because my natural lack of organization like here wasn't there. Um, and so that's just kind of an example of executive functioning for me now. Um, another example, and this is a frustrating thing and tell me if you get this is that thing where it's like, I know I need to do something and it might even be bothering me that I need haven't done something and I need to do it. And I'm just like, oh, I need to do this. I need to do this. I need to do this. Or I'll see something. I'm like, oh, I need to clean it up. I need to deal with that. I need to. But then, you, you know, even if you're just like, this needs to get done. It's bothering me that it's not done. You just don't do it because you just feel like starting to do whatever that thing is, is just too big of a task and you can't do it right now. It's like, I just don't know. I don't know. It's hard to explain like this other thing that happens, but I, I feel like that's kind of all tied in there together. Um, so anyway, those, that's just my thoughts. That's my experience uh, with executive functioning throughout the years and how it impacts me. Um, let me know if you have executive functioning hacks, uh, because I feel like really this is something that I can manage with tools and alerts and timers and calendars and things. But I needed to learn what those tools were so I could equip myself. So if you have tools, let me know. Let everyone know in the comments below and let's share this information. Uh, thank you guys so much. Let me know. Thumbs up if you thought this video was helpful. Uh, share if you think someone could use this information. And subscribe because I do put out new videos every Wednesday. Thank you guys. Talk to you next week. Bye.